Jay's Extra. Welcome back here on the Angler's Extra pregame show. I'm Andrew Selliver, joined for Catch of the Day by Evan Crest, yesterday's starter, ahead of today's game between Chatham and YD, the home opener. But yesterday, Evan got it all started for the Anglers on the mound, three and a third scoreless in your first start on the Cape. What was working so well for you out there, Evan? Um, you know, I was just trying to work all, all my pitches. Um, but, like, what mainly worked was the slider and the fastball. Just really kept them off balance and just got them out. How exciting is it for you in the first year under Sheets to help get that first win for the Anglers? Oh, it's amazing. I mean, Sheets is great. Um, the energy that he helps bring to this team, it's really infectious, and I just love playing for him already. He talked about you having a few struggles with your cut fastball, so how were you able to work around that a little lack in one pitch and make up it for it with the rest of the arsenal? You know, it, it was good. Um, you know, I, I noticed that it wasn't at its best yesterday, and so I just relied on the other ones. Um, Try to work inside with everything and expand away late, and it worked. You told us preseason you were looking for some punchies and some broken bats. Not sure we got a broken bat, but we got plenty of punch outs last night from you, Evan. What is it about your stuff that allows for so many strikeouts? I just think there's, there's so much movement and so many different ways that the ball moves out of my hand, and I feel comfortable throwing all my pitches, so I think hitters can't really sit on one specific thing. And I think that's what helps me the most. How would you encapsulate the energy around this team in the first week under sheets? Oh, I mean, it's great. We all, like, especially the bullpen, we're hooting and hollering, we're doing all this stuff, and it's amazing. I went down there in the middle of the game yesterday and just became a part of it, and it was, it was infectious. I've, I've heard it dubbed the dog pound. Do, do yeah. we have an inventor of that name? I think it was just kind of the whole group, you know, we're, we're barking, we're a bunch of dogs down there, and so I think that's what we're trying to be. Do you have a sample of some of the noises you're bringing out down there tonight? I mean, we're getting a little <laughs> down there. All right, that's a good sample. Excited to cheer on your A's teammates at home tonight? Yes, sir. Yes, I am. You're transferring to Florida State next season after two years with Jacksonville. What excited you most about this Seminoles program and to be able to stay in your home state of Florida? I mean, just the coaching staff, number one. Uh, I can't have so many good things to say about them. They're amazing. Um, and the fact that they win. The, the Seminoles just win. I've experienced it my whole life. And I think that's what I'm looking forward to the most. Florida State stayed alive at the College World Series earlier today. How exciting is it for you to see that team succeeding even before you get there for next season? Oh, it's amazing because I know that once I go there, the team's just going to be just as good and we're going to go and win the whole thing next year. Honestly. Sheets talked about in the manager's show about how excited he is for a few days to pass and to get the ball back into your hands. What's one thing you're looking forward to when you get back out there on the mound? Um, pretty much just replicate the same thing. Keep hitters off balance. Don't give them too much credit and just work. Well, Evan, it was fun to watch last night. Enjoy the dog pound tonight. Yes, sir. Thank you.